just going to have a little walk down towards the uh, the doghouse and uh, see if I can get a little bit of footage. Still a little bit dimpsy, but uh, we'll do our best. See what we can come up with. I think this is it from my memories. Look at this. There we go. Doghouse. Micro pub and vinyl bar. Home real ales, live music, home cooked food. The Doghouse Pub, co.uk. Here we go. Look at that. We've got all these lovely tables outside. Lovely. What a lovely setting. Gonna have a look in the phone box. It looks like they're using it as a bit of a library. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that lot. Oh, they got uh, old videos up here. And they got all the books up over the back there. Oh, Carnarvon Castle. Nice one. I remember that well. And a little book there on Lille in a Francais. We will be heading later on. Oh, they got DVDs. <laughs> nice one in the little telephone box outside the doghouse. Amazing. Yeah, so I was just speaking to the guy in the uh, gym there. He was wondering what I was doing <laughs> this time of day, walking around the, the uh, artisan village. But uh, yeah, looking really nice. So there's all sorts of little different uh, artisan shops in around here. It's always nice to have a little poke around. There's a, there's a Got gallery and let's say there's um, beauty salons and boutiques and stuff and uh, a few little um, maybe a cafe I don't know what this is here coffee house look coffee house yeah tea rooms it's all nice there it is then back to the van get uh, sorted out and we'll be heading down to the port in a bit lovely sky this morning though look at this sky Oh yeah, <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, we did talk about coming down on Marine Parade, but uh, it gets a little bit busy. You can park along the front there. I think, I don't know whether you have to pay now, but uh, it's a little bit, it can be a bit noisy. I've done it before in the past, a few years ago, but uh, we used to get all the boy racers tearing up in the night and it'd be like rocking your van. So we decided to sit back at the doghouse, which was perfect for us. There is, there is, it's fairly close to the M20, so you do get a bit of a, a noise when it gets quiet at night, but um, but it's it's not too bad. It's uh, better than uh, cars swooping past you at, at two o'clock in the morning that we've had previously at uh, Marine Parade, which is just over the front on the right on the uh, front seafront at Dover. We're catching these traffic lights quite nice this morning. It's all green lights, and uh, off we go. Oh, you've got 
Oh, I've got loads. Of, I've got loads of time. It is. Oh, but for, just for the record, it's Friday, the twenty eighth of October, two thousand and twenty, and it's uh, what time is it now? It's half seven in the morning. So we've got um, plenty of time. Bonjour, bonjour. Merci beaucoup. All the formalities done with a passport, stamp the passport, in we go. Yeah, yeah. We're going in. Yeah. Looks like we might have a little check on. Looks like we got a check, so we'll just wait here. Probably in a moment my camera will be going off. Oh, he's going to come on around. Yeah, hang on. Right. Hang on. That's all right. How's it going, mate? All right? Yeah, Dave, you're staying a bit, please. Oh, yeah, sorry, mate. I, sorry. I, I don't know if you want to look at me back. Or... Oh, sorry. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, no worries. That's all I wanted to get out. And the, uh, they're just um, checking the uh, door handles, stuff like that. Stay in the car. I think the only thing it's going to find on my door handles is um, polish. Boom, boom, boom. Cheers, thanks. Thank you. Okay. Through that bit. No, no, they did not. I don't think they knew where they were going, were they? No, the police oh. is walking over to them. Oh, right. Stop 
DFDS. So we've got PO over on the left, DFDS and Irish Ferries now operating. I see broken then. Nice. Oh, there's the ferry. What time's in that quarter to eight? She is warming up in the motor. We might get on this one. Just got the app booted up for my check-in. I don't think they even need it. I think it's um, number plate recognition, but there we go. On the DFDS app, all your trips. Perfect, thanks a lot, take it easy. Yeah, passports, yeah. <laughs> we thought we'd bring them this time instead of leaving them home. That's perfect, thanks a lot. You take That's all cool, thanks a lot. Happy, happy Halloween. <laughs> so we are uh, sat on the port so we've got a little while to go probably about 45 minutes and then we're boarding on the boat it's uh, yeah stunning up here this morning it's looking really nice itching to get on the boat now We've decided we're going to, uh, what we're going to do is um, probably get on the boat and grab a uh, breakfast. We're getting a little bit hungry, so we're going to grab a breakfast on the boat and then uh, hit the duty-free shop, check that out. Check where, out what the prices are on the duty-free, that'll be good, wouldn't it? So yeah, look at that. Yeah, I'll go for the same again, mate. Uh, full English with no mushrooms. No mushrooms, thanks a lot. haven't actually started moving yet and we're, we're in the restaurant talking into breakfast already and uh, it's going down a dream we're hungry 
So what happens is us, we sit down for a breakfast and we, we just met some amazing guys uh, sat behind us that were uh, on a, we saw them actually board the boat and they were on a Honda Goldwing. So uh, they were sat right behind us. So straight away, we're gets chatting away and uh, now we're nearly in France. <laughs> so we've got to make, make a break for the duty free shop. Here we go then, here we go, let's go and have a look. Right, so Joffy's just going to have a little rip round and see what the prices are like. So 24 cans of Cronenberg for $12.99. Lovely, we're just actually end of duty free shop, straight into a bit of uh, wine tasting. So we're going to test out the rosé. And this nice. um, lady, very nice lady, is just going to... Uh, nice. So we always end up... Oh, look at that. Welcome to DFDS uh, Seaways. Look at that. Oh, the yellow... Mm. Do you like a sweet rosé or do you like a drier rosé? Uh, sweet. Sweet. So let's go for a nice sweet. You've got the dry, sir. And the it's lovely. Rosé. It's really nice. Great offer today. UK supermarket, six to seven, seven pound fifty. Mm -hmm. Today on board, three ninety nine a bottle. Oh, or that's nice. Six or twenty. Biggest beauty of it, you can actually mix and match the lot. Mm. Beautiful, so beautiful. Right, so. Like this. Okay. In Morrison's, £26. Pound yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to give it to you today either for 20 or 12 Your choice, same thing, Jubilee bottle or not. Look at that. And you can't get the Jubilee bottle in the high street, it's just not available. Ships only. Oh. So we got the Baileys on here for two for 22, look. They're litre bottles of Baileys. <laughs> look at the bottles. <laughs> Check, Check out the prices, 12 quid, litre bottle, Bacardi, genuine. Well, they've got the Bacardi Spiced, you can mix, mix and match. They've got the, the darker one down here and they've got the lighter one as well, look. Captain Morgan's the same, Havana Club. And Carolyn was pointing to me about the plantation. That's a nice one. Oh, this uh, lady on the boat is just telling us about Value for Money, and she's got a little app called Latest Deals, and uh, it compares uh, all the supermarket prices. So they keep an eye on that with uh, DFDS, and they are absolutely undercutting everybody with their prices. Duty free, unbelievable. So one of our personal favourites is the Kraken, and look at this lot, look at this. This is an unbelievable price, 15 69 for one litre of Kraken so rum. And legally, we can take four of these legally and still take 48 cans of Cronenberg, as well as a bunch of wine. So uh, that is unbelievable. We'll move along, we've got Grey Goose vodka at 32, one litre, save 14.99. We've got, what have we got here? We've got Absolute Blue. There is all these drinks. Look at this, what a selection. Tankori Gin at $14.99. There's the Royale. Yeah, they've got a load of uh, tech gear here. They've got Sony headphones, some really high tech equipment. And uh, looking over this side, they've got some really good JBL, uh, different little uh, earphones, um, various plug adapters, leads, all sorts of swag. It makes the journey across the channel super interesting. <laughs> Checking out some of the perfumes and the colognes. Uh, 
Hugo Boss, all the nice stuff, very nice ones down here, the scent, Hugo Boss, some very nice stuff. Oh, oh, and the Amorni Code, look. So many. I did have that one before, the old Givinci, that was quite a nice one actually. Givinci Gentleman, that was a nice one. Sauvage. Poison, hypnotic. Caroline's in perfume heaven. <laughs> oh, one of our favorites. One of our favorites. Who are these people? Rituals. Oh yeah. What have they got around the other side? What have they got around the other side? Oh, they got all the nice stuff. All the shower gels, foams, nice. Body creams. Oh, that's, that's one of my favorites actually, that uh, hand wash there. Ham wash, that is lovely, lovely. Just checking out all the Yankee candles. Absolutely endless amounts of it here. Yankee candles, they even got these um, nice ones. We've got a couple of these on our fireplace actually. And uh, they're really nice with the wooden tops on. Very nice, quality stuff. Uh, yeah, not too sure on all this stuff. This is more uh, <laughs> Caroline's neck of the woods. But uh, all these uh, face cleaners and moisturizers, Clinique, Clarins, Estee Lauder, Longcom, it's all here. Just in case you do forget. We've had to uh, get a basket. <laughs> basket. Oh, just, just grab that one, can you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. There's a handle there, I think. Lovely, we've got a basket. We're shopping. Look at the scallywag. Two for 49. This looks nice. This is Spaceoid. So we've got a big, uh, big, big peat. Big peat. Big peat. They got barrels of whiskey. They've got globes of whiskey. Look at this. Lovely. Oh, there's the, uh, the barrel in the box, look. Look at that, they're nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, there's Irish whiskey. Look at, there's the Jamesons. So we're just back to make our drink selection. And I think we're gonna go for a Kraken, maybe a Bacardi. Um, but not the Jägermeister. Not the Jägermeister. Cold brew coffee Jägermeister. Wow. Cointreau. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna go up here. A bit of martini. Martini Rosso, 7.99. Look at that. Amazing. Ginger, orange, pink grapefruit, original. And then that one's the one that's 47% yeah. strong. But these are all unique. Yeah, so basically the lady here was just showing us about when we're entering the EU, um, we're allowed 16 litres of beer. Different when we come back, uh, four litres of wine and one litre of spirits. But when we're coming back, we can have four litres of spirits, 42 litres of beer, 18 litres of still wine, and then obviously the cigarettes. The cigarettes look the same, tobacco and the goods. So we can enter the EU uh, buying 430 pounds worth of goods, and on the way back, it's only gonna be 390 pounds worth of goods. So that's all cool, just get that straight.
So I wonder who's ringing me when I'm on the boat. You guessed it, Metatrack. Forgot to put it in the transportation mode again. Oh, naughty boy, but they're good as go. It works, Metatrack works. Okay, on with the sunglasses, here we go then. This is France. And it is sunny. It's hot. Oh, nice, what's temperature? Twet, no wet. No, this, this, let's stabilize. It's, uh, my, um, my temperature, uh, outside temperature is running 23 at the moment, but that's probably just inside the bottom of the boat. But, well, no, uh, because it's meant to be up 22 today. So less than 24 hours and we are in Holland <laughs> and we are at Kinderdijk and we can see the windmills in the distance. We've had a little bit of a walk. It's been a bit of a long day but uh, we're in reach of the Kinder, Kinderdijk windmills. This is looking nice. <laughs> 